Art activities include a lot of sound toys. You have probably already seen the oboe and how it works. Please refer to that activity to understand better how a vibrating reed or membrane produces sound. Using that knowledge and extending it further, we will learn how to make a harmonica. With the oboe, the vibration happens in the air particles which behave as a sort of spring. Changing the length of this vibrating air tube by opening or closing the holes of the oboe changes the effective tube length and the frequency and notes produced. In case of the harmonica, however, the vibration is produced by a single reed, which is paper in our case. A reed is any material which will produce a sound on vibration in a current of air. We will be making a primitive harmonica with very easily available materials. A few simple variations will allow us to explore the working of the harmonica in detail. A harmonica is a wind instrument. The sound is produced by the vibration of a reed. The player's air causes the reed to move, which blocks and unblocks the airway, and this produces sound. The harmonica or mouth organ, which we may have typically come across, is made up of a five-piece sandwich, as shown below. The top and bottom covers of the harmonica are meant to amplify sound for the listener. The two layers inside the cover layers are called reed plates. These contain reeds of different lengths. One end of every reed is fastened to the plate and the other end is free to vibrate. A slot is present under every reed in the reed plate to allow for reed vibration. Every reed is of a different length and this gives rise to different notes. The longer the reed, the lower the frequency of sound produced. The center layer of a harmonica is called the comb. It is so named because it looks like a hair comb. However, this comb's teeth are high in thickness to keep apart the two reed plates above and below it. The empty spaces between the comb teeth coincide with the reeds on the two reed plates. The space in the comb allows the reeds to move and produce sound through vibrations, which block and unblock the air passage. The player blows into the empty spaces of the comb to initiate this movement. There are two ways of producing sound with a harmonica, one by blowing and one by sucking air into the holes. The reeds are so placed that the reeds on the blow plate are fastened on the inside of the hole and those on the draw reed plate are fastened on the outside of the hole. Blowing air into the hole activates the blow reed and keeps the draw reed closed and drawing air from the hole activates the draw reed and keeps the blow reed closed. Our version, which you have just made, is a simple variation of the commercial harmonica described above. It is made with a single reed of paper and covered with two ice cream sticks on both sides, providing the space within which the paper reed will vibrate. This ice cream stick instrument is a basic harmonica because it works on the same principle of reed vibration on blowing air. The spacers are necessary and without them the reed, which is a strip of paper, would be shut tight between the ice cream sticks and would not be able to vibrate, therefore generating no sound. An interesting thing to note here is that the spacer should be kept one on each ice cream stick such that the paper reed is slanting inside the ice cream sticks covering it. Keeping the spacers in this way on opposite sides of the paper strip on both ends allows for the paper to vibrate better, which would otherwise be tied shut between the sticks. It is important also to keep the width of the paper exactly the same as that of the covering ice cream sticks so that the paper can be stimulated by blown or drawn air and can vibrate. Some variations you can try. You can try changing the material of the membrane to produce a different quality of sound. Changing the thickness of spacer will change the pitch in which the reed is vibrating by changing the amount of space available for the reed vibration. The more the space available, the lower the pitch of frequency will be, or at least that's what theory tells us. It'll be great if you try it. Increasing the width of the cover, that is changing the ice cream sticks to wider cardboard pieces, for example. Our simple harmonica will also work by drawing air. The air reed can be set into vibration by both blowing and sucking air to produce sound. The learning objectives of this activity are to demonstrate that a single piece of paper sandwiched between two ice cream sticks behave like a reed or a mouthpiece, like in some woodwind instruments, the harmonica or the mouth organ in particular. 
to study some characteristics of a wave, to show how different materials produce different sounds, and to talk about frequency determined by length of reed and gap between the sticks, which is essentially the vibrating amplitude. Some understanding of the following concepts and properties should be known. Frequency is the number of cycles per second of a wave. Wavelength, the physical length of a single wave, that is distance between two consecutive troughs or crests. Velocity is the speed of a wave, simply the product of the frequency and the wavelength. And the amplitude or the loudness is the height of a wave, is also the measure of loudness or power in a sound wave. A basic understanding of sound, pitch, loudness, etc as well as making simple length measurements and tracing to cut paper and cardboard are some of the simple skills required for this activity and also the use of scissors and rubber bands. The simple harmonica which we have made demonstrates the principle on which the musical instrument is based. By making variations to this simple harmonica we can study the effect on sound hence analyzing the role of that material or spacing or length. For example, we can use different spacer distances to generate different notes. Blowing air at different lengths of the ice cream stick also generates different sounds. This happens because the reed length is altered, giving rise to different frequencies of sounds produced. Harmonicas are used as a musical instrument in many genres of music, like blues, American folk music, classical music, jazz, country, and rock and roll. Wind instruments are based on similar principles of vibration caused by blowing air into the instrument. The vibrating material is an air column in some cases like the flute or vibrating reeds like in the case of the harmonica. Varying the vibrating length of the air tube or of the reed changes the notes produced. Based on this understanding and lots of practice, beautiful music can be produced and we hope you have fun doing so. See you later.